is beautiful. It has been two and a half years since we have been able to come together as a community like this. And so it is fantastic to see so many of our families showing up uh, today for this. This year we've been working on our Humans of Hawthorne and the Truth About Stories project, and it had three components to it. The first was a collaborative art mural that we did with Claudia, uh, where each student and staff member in the school uh, sort of told their story through drawing a mandala. It was a beautiful process where I guide them through the creation of some mandalas. So it was a, a very nice way for them to tell their story without telling it. I was telling them, what if these murals could talk? There will be so many voices telling so many stories and at the same time we are telling all the same story because we are building the cosmos, of, of the history of cosmos and that's what my piece means. So there's a long line that takes you going through the cosmos and we are building all this story together. One thing I learned is to like, um, I don't know how to say it, but like, to like draw with your feelings and your heart instead of your mind. I learned that I love art and that I would actually continue doing art. Then the second component was a Humans of Hawthorne book that we produced, and that was done with uh, poems that were written by each student and staff member with the help of Jamal the poet. Every poet hopes that children continue to write and recite. As you know, that's why we call it the connection and communication because Writing, speaking, these forms of communication, and, and film, you know, storytelling, just period, uh, it brings about transformation and change. So with, hopefully, this program, we're hoping kids understand that they have the ability to transform their lives through the power of storytelling. I am from my video games and my cozy bed. I am from cheese pizza and rice and the chicken with strawberry smoothie. I am from my, my mother who always says I love you and always says go to bed. I am from my mom and my dad, two brothers and a grandma and a grandpa. And then the third component was a videography piece where we filmed cinepoems uh, with Craig uh, Connolly and a group of our grade eights. Dear humanity, I want to warn you, from the sky to the ocean, covered in pollution and waste, we have failed to protect the world we were given. So much so that the earth is trying to get rid of us. From the tsunamis to tornadoes and even thunderstorms, this is to tell you if we don't act now, We'll lose this home. Thank you for giving us a gentle, cozy, relaxing, and lovely place when I'm sad or upset, and I don't want to do anything. All I ask for is for you to be nice and not rude. I liked how he taught me how to record properly. Like now, if I want to record for my brother because he has a YouTube channel, I can start recording for him properly. You know, we pay uh, professionals for their stories. We, we subscribe, right, to the many platforms that share professional storytelling with us. But I, I really hope that the, that the youth uh, come away from this program with the notion that their story is, is the most important story. Whatever medium they choose in life to relay that story to the world, whether it's arts or sports or politics, that they remember their story is the most important. This project has really been a project of love. It's been an amazing experience, and I think it's something that we need to have more of in our schools in general. It's fantastic when you're able to work with an organization like MASK and when you're able to get artists to come in to share their passions. Storytelling shouldn't just be for the professionals, but that we all have a story to tell and that we all have different ways in which we can tell that story. We are at the end of the Humans of Hawthorne Truth About Stories. Thank you for coming out, parents. You're awesome. You're awesome.